Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works, and in today's video, we have more Cerakote trim coat wipes. Stay tuned. We are going to do something that has never been done before. The cheapest third gen Toyota 4Runner in the entire country. Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works, where I have bought another 4Runner. Seriously. It just got deep. Row, row. Dad, um. everything is blowing! So, it's a little after 8 o'clock, and uh, it's dark and we're in bed. Well, we finally got unstuck. That was a little ridiculous. Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works uh, to a much overdue video. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, well, all I can say is life. Life gets in the way. Um, as you guys probably will remember, uh, so it's been like a month ago, so it really hasn't been that long ago. We did some uh, Cerakote trim coat on my dad's Xterra. And uh, after I dropped that video, the guys over at Cerakote actually sent me a message and gave me a phone call. Uh, so they really liked the video, asked my opinion on the product, and um, they offered to send me some of the uh, gloss trim coat to use. Because if you remember, we uh, did the, the satin or the flat. And I think it's called satin. Um, and I'll, I'll link that video down below. Um, basically, what they had told me was um, after the product went live to the public, the, uh, the feedback on the satin wasn't quite what they wanted. Just because you can test as much as you want before a product gets released. But when it goes to the public, that's going to get used on so many different applications that you, you really can't account for beforehand. So they were uh, talking to customers and trying to change things up. And uh, I said I hadn't done the gloss because, like I mentioned in the video before, I didn't want a shiny Armor All 1995, you know, look on my car. And they said, well, the gloss isn't necessarily like a gloss, like a shiny gloss. It's kind of basically the, like the nice finish that a brand new car would have when it comes from the manufacturer. Not like the shiny slime that they put on a used car at a car dealership. We're talking brand new, like natural shine. So they said, hey, would you uh, be interested in trying some if we sent it to you? Um, and I said, absolutely, because we've got a lot more to do on this. Plus, I've noticed since it's been summer um, and it finally has stopped raining, the 4Runner needs some plastic love. The Jeep definitely does. And uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna move it. We are going to look at the parts that we did on the Xterra already. And then we are going to go over those parts again. And we're gonna do some parts that I haven't done uh, that I gave this a, a good wash. And I'm gonna jump probably to a different day and we're gonna do some stuff on the 4Runner and the Jeep. All right, so here is the trim along the side of my dad's 4Runner, and I apologize for the light, but we have to be in the shade so that we can apply all of this. Um, but I think you guys can really tell, um, this is held up extremely well. My parents live on a gravel road. My dad parks in a gravel parking lot at work. He has never parked inside. He does not detail this thing on, you know, it's a it's an Xterra. We wash it every once in a while, and and that's fine. But it has held up really, really well. There is a little bit of streakiness, but I mean, that it was way worse. And that sometimes that's just life with this plastic. We're gonna go over it um, with a second in a coat. And again, this is one coat with the the satin, and we're gonna give it another coat with the gloss. Um, if you look down here, mud flaps, those have held up really, really well. Door handles, those have held up really, really good. So we are gonna go over and give all this stuff a second coat, and then we are going to pick out some places that uh, we can give 
brand new coats of the gloss. Alright, so we've got, uh, I did the trim on this side, and as you guys can see, obviously, I mean, so that's with the gloss, and that's, that's not what I would call gloss. It just looks, it just looks factory new yeah. to it me. It looks like the semi-gloss, doesn't it? I mean, maybe a little bit more shiny, but not, not. Looks a, good, though. I, I mean, think it looks, to, yeah. Thinks, I wouldn't want it really any shinier for. Exactly. All right, well, we didn't do any of the front end last time. Um, and the grill seems to just be gray plastic. Um, this inner part, we're not going to do that because that needs, we're going to have to scrub that with some little brushes or something. That's a black plastic. And then the bumper we talked about. And then I think this bottom insert, um, I think that's actually painted, painted plastic, which is, I think, what the back bumpers is kind of a weird setup. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and hit this and see how this goes. of the inside of this car too um, with these wipes but it's still got tons of dealership shine all over it and we're gonna have to do a lot of cleaning to get it taken back down to just bare natural plastic um, we did it impromptu test because what did you use rubbing alcohol yeah right. it's the an alcohol wipe so i gave i gave my dad a uh, <clears throat> magnetic phone mount to mount on his dash with some 3m tape and uh, i told him to clean the dash with some rubbing alcohol as you do before you stick it on there and uh, he did that and then he had a mini freak out because some of the dash turned like a it it, it, it discolored it, it. it took the black off so to speak i was like yeah I bet it's fine and actually he was over at the house and I gave him one of the uh, the flat the satin Cerakote wipes I said go wipe this around there and see what it does and we all we didn't clean it or anything just the the rubbing alcohol was the extent of the cleaning and uh, it brought it right, brought it right back look look fine so so we uh, are definitely gonna need to do the interior but uh, as you can see the grill is doing really good. There's no breeze, so it's not drying super quick. But I'm going to wrap this up, and uh, next time you see me, it'll probably be on a different vehicle. All right, as you can see, we've got the, the Jeep here. Jeep. Um, and so all of the handles and this trim piece on the back, and, well, on this handle here, but the camera angle's not great. Um, as you can see, these things are awful um they uh, so we've had this jeep six seven years seven years and i've tried numerous products on these you know 
your basic armor all and armor all variants, um, trim blacks, um, like actual trim restore back to blacks uh, type stuff. And it all just cooks off, washes off, fades off. Um, and it's, it's, it's sad. Um, and I, I was gonna pull all of it off and bedline it like I did with the body cladding, but I just have never gotten around to doing that. So that's why I'm super excited um, that I've got the Cerakote stuff. So um, I did one test piece already, the, the, uh, the thumbnail. That was my test piece on the Jeep. So we're gonna get going on the rest of it. Uh, full disclosure that uh, the thumbnail picture, that is two coats. So um, I did one coat and just like the, my dad's Xterra, there was a little splotchiness um, left over after it dried because of how poor condition it was. Um, but after the second coat, looked fantastic. This is the first coat, just so you guys can see. Holy cow, guys. Uh, th this is not gonna come through on video, I'm sorry. Um, so this is the, the two coat one from the thumbnail, and it's dry and it looks absolutely stunning. I'm having a hard trying, time even getting it to focus because it looks so good. It's just re reflecting the light. Here, over here, over here, this is one coat. Um, pay no attention to that. I, uh, yes, I have tried the heat gun restore method on this with the diluted linseed oil and that works pretty good for a little while but if you're not careful with your heat gun that's what can happen so um, last but certainly not certainly not least uh, we have the forerunner um, I already did some of the spots like around the mirrors um, those were actually so faded they were rough <laughs> um, like the fibers in the plastic were getting rough and then we've got this piece in the back. Um, it only shows up to like here once the hatch is closed, so I'm not that concerned with it. Um, and uh, I think at this point, we, we all know this stuff works. Um, let me get down. So where you can actually see, um, this is a really light gray. Um, so the transformation is not gonna be quite as drastic as the Jeep. Can I just say that, um, so I, I did that a couple days ago and I've been driving it back and forth to work, obviously. It looks so good. Um, I cannot believe the transformation on those door handles on that Jeep. It's just, it's insane. So, um, yeah, I already did a coat on, uh, one coat around those mirrors like you saw, and I did the the mud flaps on this, which were pretty sad. Um, it was a pretty drastic transformation there. Um, and after I get done with this, we're gonna hop up and do the cowl um, underneath the windshield wipers. Um, give that a coat as well. So you can see right through here, this is, I've cleaned it. It's just really faded in that groove there. Um, ooh, this is gonna finish darker than that back piece. That looks you don't realize sometimes how bad these plastics are <laughs> until you, uh... wow, look at that. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope it uh, I hope it helped you out. I can, without a doubt, 100% say that I suggest using this product on your plastics. As, as always, your results may vary. Make sure you follow all the instructions, test your spots, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, I've done it on three vehicles with lots of different types of plastic and um, I'm really excited. And I've tried other back to black type products. Um, so I will drop a link in the description below, of course, to head on over to Cerakote's website to pick some up. Uh, again, thank you a ton to Cerakote uh, for getting in contact with me and sending me out some more wipes to test out. Uh, again, I apologize that it took so long, um, but I hope you guys found it informative and as I'm looking in the video, that rifle case could probably use some uh, trim coat, which is rather fitting. So 
on that. Uh, head on over to Instagram and Facebook. Uh, follow me along over there. Lots of stuff over there. Well, a lot more often. Um, comments down below, as always. I always respond. Email me, hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit those notifications. Until next time, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.